In this video, we're going to talk about the requirements for your development environment for this course. So what we want to do is have an operating system that supports Java development. Obviously, uh, this is going to be all the major operating systems out there, Mac OS, Windows, or Linux. I'm saying you probably want at least 8 gig of memory. Uh, 16 would be a little more comfortable, a little faster, but you should be able to get by with uh, just 8 gig. And we are going to be using Java 11 or higher. So uh, everything's going to be developed under Java 11. But if you're on a higher version, you should be okay. If you are on a lower version, you may run into issues. So I do recommend if you're lower than Java 11 to update to uh, Java 11. And you do need to have the JDK installed specifically. Now the, the JRE, the Java runtime, you do need the JDK as far as the flavor of the JDK, Oracle or OpenJDK should be just fine. And then we are going to be getting into Docker. Uh, you do want to have Docker Engine installed. And I'm saying uh, 20.10.0 or higher. Uh, that should be perfectly fine for this course. And then we are going to be building Java. We will be using Maven specifically. And you should have uh, Maven 3.6.0 or higher. And ideally uh, have that installed for command line use. That will make your life a little bit easier. And if you have any doubts on that, you can uh, read the official Maven Apache Maven documentation. They, they do a pretty good job of explaining how to set that up for your specific uh, environment. So you do want to take a moment to verify your uh, environment. And this can be uh, very simply to go verify that Java is installed. So Java version, uh, then we want to make sure that the JDK is also installed. So that's Java C version. That will tell us that the Java compiler is available on the command line. Maven, we can just do Maven minus V. That will show us the Maven version installed. And then we can run a simple Docker command, make sure that the Docker engine is up and running. And that's simply Docker PS. And that will show us any running containers. Now, I do use, uh, for the source code examples, I do use IntelliJ Ultimate. Uh, this is going to be used throughout the course, but it is not a requirement. You do not need uh, IntelliJ Ultimate to go along with the code examples in this. I do develop everything to be IDE agnostic, meaning it doesn't matter uh, what ID or any ID that you use. Maven is the build tool. We will have a Maven build file, and we'll be able to build the project using Maven. So if you're using uh, STS Eclipse or NetBeans or some other IDE, uh, perfectly fine. As long as it supports Maven, you're good to go. And worst case, you can always use Maven from the command line to, to build through the example. So again, IntelliJ Ultimate is not required to complete the course. It's just the, my preference of the IDE to use.